Stu. Tom. Revenge is a dish. Best served cold. But are you pink enough in the middle to deliver said revenge this evening? Cut that crap. Let's get to beer wars. Not very nice, really, is it? Just here to have a good time. Play the B-roll. Don't really need that in my life. But... Presenting Beer Wars. Brews on a budget. Tom and Stu get £10 to spend and score points in three categories. Category 1. How many tins? Who got the most value for their money? Category 2. Variation. How many brands or styles did they manage to pick up? Remember, no doublers. And three, the decider, who got the most liquid? Stu, that was a magnificent voiceover. I really enjoyed it once again. You really do have a face face for radio and a, and a body for the crows. Uh, thank you. It was just the same file as before. I'm just saying you're good at both your jobs. Just take the compliment and just, just leave. Just get out of my face. Tom, forget all that. It is oh. time for Beer Wars. Yay! Let's do that instead. Rather than talk. Episode 2. Guys, welcome to episode 2 of Beer Wars Bargain Brews on a Budget. Um, yes, me and Stuart Sutherland uh, are here once again uh, to pit our wits against each other mm. in a battle for beer supremacy. Um, Nay, doublers. Doublers, we changed the rules <laughs> in between episodes and we're now allowing them. So. That's kind of cool. That's not what the B rule said. We're 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 open to suggestion and change. So yeah, doublers and that triplers are even are even allowed. So you know, I'm, I can't wait to see which multi packs we bought to show each other. And I think since you won, you know, won last week, Thomas. What's with the air quotes? It's, it's only right that uh, you should go first. Okay, yeah, that's 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 fine. Yeah, we can, we can take it in turns. We can uh, we can do the old switcheroonie. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not embarrassed about my haul. I'm quite proud of it, so I will happily. You've done a good job painting. I could tell. Go first. Yeah, yeah. paint painting. This was when we moved in. It was this color. Ah, oh, you said you're quite proud of your haul. Sorry, dad humor. Okay. Well, listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my receipt because I want to prove this to you that I spent ten pounds. And I'm gonna at the same time I'm gonna try and work out that gag. I did, I didn't know what that meant. But I'm gonna work. I oh, like you last week. I felt really bad about not getting close enough to ten, so I bought a carrier bag, uh, and I managed <laughs> to get two nine pound eighty. Definitely Ooh. can't see that, but just to prove that mm -hmm. I uh, I spent that much and. Were you about to say something, Stuart? No, no, I was uh, just, no, just quietly just, burping into my microphone. Audibly, just like an audible gasp. Then uh, you must be really <laughs> in suspense waiting for this. Well, um, I I don't have my receipt. I did send you a picture earlier this week showing you I spent exactly ten pounds, but we have the proof. It's okay. It's that been was including a ten pence carrier bag. Yes. So nine no, ninety. You did really well. You did really mm -hmm. well. So ten p more than me. I think. Well, I only spent nine fifty on beers, but I think I beat you anyway. So really, what what does the price matter? Yeah. Well, Do you let, know what I mean. Let's let's talk more beer. Let's see them bottles. Okay. Okay. So I decided to be smart about this, and I got two multi saves. Okay. We don't have those up here. Ha 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 ha. Oh, oh my heckles are up. Oh, Tom, you've cheated again. <laughs> oh, Tom, you've actually used an offer that was at your store. You've cheated again. No, I haven't. Stop. Okay, I'm sorry. Some things aren't fair. We've got different deals over here. Get to the beer. Okay, I'll get to the beer. So, I got 
on offer, I did a three for 550, which right. was on their kind of ale selection. Um, and I know that, I mean, you were dissing me last week for, for grabbing all favourites. So this time I thought I'd better switch it up and grab some new favourites. Uh, first out Ooh. the bag is uh, Abbott. Uh, this is from Green King. This is the reserve. Okay, not Abbott Ale. This is the, yeah, Abbott Ale. This is the strong version. The okay. uh, reserve 6.5% volume version. Nice. Uh, this is one I've been talking into a lot quite recently. And um, yeah, it's grown on me. It's probably becoming one of my favorite uh, strong English ales. So there's that. That was the first out of the uh, 3, 4, 5, 50. Uh, secondly, in that in that list was I see a little champion. Yeah, McEwen's champion. Um, Good. Yeah, it's always you know it's 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 a go to. We've we've said we've said all that all that needs to be said about that beer yes. in the past. Um, and then thirdly, on that oh. offer was Ooh, old crafty, crafty hen. Am I? Am I putting these in the right position? Yeah. Do sorry, man. I feel like I'm all over the place. No, was, just put it in front of your face, and I'll be fine. There we go. Old crafty hen. And yes. the bottles had a slight redesign, which I've noticed. It says like uh, special five X signature blend. I, I don't know whether that means it's five times stronger than the other one, but it doesn't really make sense. But yeah. um, I just drink it. I'm, I'm paid to drink, not paid to read and understand things. So yeah, that was my offer. Okay. I I also intelligently got another offer, as I mentioned. This one was two for four pounds twenty. Hmm. And in that one, oh, this was more like the kind of lagers uh, in the fridge area. I got Asahi. Oh. Um. Another. That looks like lager. a big boy. But it is a big boy. This is the um. 620 milliliter oh, version no. uh this is one of our what i mean miss you like this one it's one of our kind yeah. of go-to go brewskis um so what do you class that, that as again is that like a okay in dry lager lager uh yeah. well, well it's, a, it's like a rice 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 beer as well so mm -hmm. um that's probably my favorite of those um rice beers lovely stuff mm -hmm. and i also got one which uh I don't know how I feel about, but it is new, and mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of people talking about it, and that is Stella Artois' unfiltered premium lager oh, beer. I have seen that around. I've never been bored enough to try it myself. Yeah not, good not for a, you. yeah, not a huge fan of Stella. Um, I mean, I think it's it's pretty good in terms of some of the more well-known lagers or the, the lagers that people drink the most you know at Carlton, mm -hmm. bosses etc i think it's a little bit better than those but still not a massive fan but I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying the unfiltered and that is uh five percent now so it's shot up a few a few decimal places yeah. compared to um the standard stella so it yeah, could be could be good um and i also got uh that's it good that's me all done. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Never been so nervous. Going, oh no. Oh no. It's going to be worse if he beats me legitimately. <laughs> my, my turn? So, Do you not know that? Yes, please. Um, unfortunately, my co-op had no offers on. No multi-buys. Oh, no. And no bargain bin with dented tins. None of that. Okay. So, it's just... Let's Straight, see what, see what good you old have. fashioned maths. <laughs> is that is that is that what you're pulling out? So let's let's. Yeah. The old Nuki Brown Ale. Good selection. Mhm. Mm it's been a wee while. I actually, as soon as I bought it, I, I had buyer's regret going, "Oh, why did I buy like the English Brown Ale? Like I should be purposely buying Scottish beers." In the sense of like, you're not going to have these typically. Yeah, yeah. Does, I know what you does mean. Does your co-op have this? Uh, I'm pretty certain. Yeah. yeah, I did see it in, in in the fridge, but I think you know you you got to do well. You got to kind of use what's available to you. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't I wouldn't you know beat yourself up too but much, too. To make up for that, I have 
Belhaven Bess. Come on. Shall I? Beautiful beer. Absolutely yeah, beautiful yes. beer. The one that I can only find in dusty corner shops two years out of date, but I'll still drink it. <laughs> okay, so that was bottle number two. Uh, another little Scottish. Ah, hoppiness. Yes, it is a Hop- India Pale Ale from Loch Ness Brewery. Loch Ness Brewery, okay. So your uh, co op had a lot more local stuff. Yes, I had I had in comparison to mine. It was like a wall of beer. They this seems to be like one of the big co-ops where it just has this nice dedicated beer and wine aisle. Mm. So they had lots of beer and God, talk about the difference in prices. Like compared to last the, week, you mean? <laughs> yeah, the cheapest beer was one pound eighty five. Mm. So these were all one eighty five. Well, no. The two, Newcastle and 80 shilling. 220, oh. my cheapest beers. Really? Yeah. But, oh, ah, I guess you have to rely on the multi saver. Mm. But like this this was a two pounds. Oh, it's really good. And it's awesome. So that's those three. Bottle number four. Oh I I think I've seen that around. I I didn't not see it in the co op. Yes, well, this I've seen that knocking about. From backer pills. Oh, lovely! So a, a nice big pilsner. That looks good. And last but not least, wow! Oh, you finally got it. The ABK. Yes. That is it. That is a beautiful beer. That yeah. is. Um, that's what I'm starting to see a lot more. I've never seen it in the bottle like that, but I've seen mm-hmm. it. Um on draft a lot around yeah. the bars now uh it's, it's it's a really good beer really nice beer so that's it the, the, the bag is flat so oh my god so is that e- even stevens yeah that's five bottles each mm-hmm. so oh, wow okay how, how do we score that one so um <laughs> <laughs> Do we do we say one each then for so, now and see how we get on with the next two categories? Let's call that one one. Yeah. Even. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Have we broken? Have we destroyed our? We let's moved. keep down the back of our mind. Let's move on to the second category, which is style. Style. So style or brands, right? We can go with. Well, I feel like it should stick to one. Okay, so that will be five each in terms of brands and then styles. Um, I think uh, I think the new seller that unfiltered is a pilsner. I think that's classes of pilsner. Old does it crafty, say it on the bottle? It does not say that, but because I would just class as a lot of the research. There. Okay, okay, bear with me, bear with me. Old crafty. <laughs> Uh, strong ale, strong ale, Abbott Reserve, strong ale, Champion of Scotch ale, and then uh, Sahi, like an international pale lager. That is definitely different to the Stella. So I'm saying five categories. No, oh no, I'm saying four, four, four categories. Yes, I cheating bastards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, f- for me, brown ale. Yep, eighty shilling. Yeah. IPA. Okay. Lager. Pilsner. So you're saying you got five styles? Yes. Okay. So if it's we've got five brands each. Mm-hmm. I've got four styles. You got five styles. That's a point to you. Kind of leans my way. Young Stuart. Yep. That is two points to one. Right now, I'm not even going to think about whether I can win this. I'm just going to just keep powering through. Okay. I whether I can turn this around, but I got faith in myself that I can. So the third category would be liquid. Yes. The get volume. ready to get ready to put that fast forward, fast forward. editing yeah. thing in again. Have you done yours in preparation? I have. I've done mine. Good man. So, Good man. Right here we go. <laughs> Two thousand eight hundred and seventy. Okay. 
which beats my 2,780. Yeah, I'm right by 90 milliliters. Mm-hmm. Stuart, you won that one as well. That's three points to one. Um, if you wanted to be a jammy bastard, you could put your extra point on here for. Uh, <laughs> was it that you decided? Style points. <laughs> Best use of a carrier bag. Hey, I was, hey, mine's was biodegradable. I got so... there. I got to the shop earlier than you. Where, 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 where do you want to bring in next? So I think we should just bring up. Uh... This contest is a sham. Okay. <laughs> I think we should settle petal. Bullshit. Oh, shit. 100%. Just like, I, I was like you last time, but worse no. because there's cheating no. involved. No, <laughs> we haven't had that confirmed yet. So, oh. independent adjudicator. So, this is what it feels like for us. Okay. Uh, shall we decide where we're going next? For us to know. All right. What we got? Ready? Yep. Let's see where we're going shopping for episode three of Beer Wars. Been it, my boy. I really don't know SEO. I should leave oh. it to the experts. Marks and Spencer. Oh. That is going to be a very interesting one. Should we, should we make that 20, is. yeah? <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's make sure I get paid before doing that one. <laughs> That's uh, set for the end of the month, the last Friday. Of uh, of June, guys, we'll join you at some time after then. No, it'll be before that. Yeah, uh, thank you for joining us again. £10. Yep, and uh, we'll have keep powering tents, on with that. Well, that's 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 all you need. The MNS beer is so good. That's that's all you need. For, so I've been told. Uh, thank you for joining us again, guys. Shoot, good luck with editing that. Um, yes. And let me know when it's done. <laughs>